Joshua cannot deny that he's been where he's been because he has on the clothes to prove it. I'm wearing my sin. Oh, you don't hear me. You know, there's no ambiguity about what I've done or where I've been. It's all over me. And if you look, you can see where I've been. You don't hear me. There it is right there. He has filthy clothes on. But the grace of God commissions an angel and says, I don't like the way Joshua is dressed. Go over there and look in the closet of redemption and pull out the garment of righteousness and put, oh, hold on, my, my fault. I messed up. I messed up. My fault. The very first thing that the Lord does is takes off Joshua's old filthy clothes because he would not put righteousness over sin. So he takes the sin off. But after he takes the sin off, he can't leave me naked. So he tells him to get some other clothes and put some clothes on Joshua so that Joshua no longer looks like what he's been through. And you might as well touch somebody, tell them you really don't know what I've been through. Because I no longer look like it. Because now I'm dressed in some new clothes. The clothes I'm dressed in, I didn't get them from Macy's. I, I didn't get them from Nordstrom. I didn't get them from Neiman Marcus. But I got something on right now. It's called the righteousness of Jesus Christ. For when you put your faith in Jesus Christ, he put some new clothes on you. I got on more than what I look like. If anyone be in Christ, he or she is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Aren't you glad that he dresses you? Is there anybody here? who's dressed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. I'm glad on tonight that whenever uh, uh, the devil looks at me, he has to look at me through the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Well, I'm about to leave you alone, children. When I tell you this right here, the angel looks at Joshua and says, well, now you having on new clothes is not enough. I'm going to put a new turban on your head. Now, the new turban on the head of the priest, uh, the turban was a work garment. You see, the clothes were life garments, but the turban was a work garment, which said, not only, Joshua, am I restoring your identity, but I'm also restoring your ministry. I'm giving you your assignment back. That's what grace will do. Justice will tell you you don't deserve to do what you're doing. But I'm glad tonight that grace has the last word. Grace says put a turban on her head because I'm giving her her assignment back. I'm giving him his assignment back. I'm glad on tonight that he looks beyond my fault and he sees my needs and he puts the turban back on. This is the same God who told Moses, I want you to go and tell Pharaoh, even after Moses had murdered somebody, he gives him his assignment back. This is the same God who after David had messed up, told him to get up off the ground because I'm giving you your assignment back. This is the same God who told Peter to go back and fish some more for men and women, even after Peter had denied him three times. I'm glad, I'm glad that the grace of God will give you your assignment back. Is there anybody here who ever felt like you weren't worth it? 
whoever felt like you weren't worthy I tell you what you do look at what you have on you got the righteousness of Christ you got a turban on your head if the devil starts making noise you gotta know how to silence him your philosophy won't do it your logic won't do it your horoscope won't do it you gotta know how to speak the word to the enemy tell him that a choice has been made tell him i've been chosen tell him i've been delivered tell him i've been dressed come on say it with me tell him i've been chosen i've been delivered and i've been dressed i've been chosen i've been delivered and i've been dressed i'm glad i'm glad that one friday jesus silent satan out on a hill called calvary they hung him high and stretched him wide and he died until the devil had to shut up he died until god was glorified he died until humanity was justified and they buried him in a borrowed tomb friday night he was there saturday and saturday night but early on sunday morning he rose he rose with all power in his hands turn to your neighbor tell him i've been chosen i've been delivered and i've been dressed i've been chosen i've been delivered and i've been dressed somebody ought to shout glory 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 oh, oh. hallelujah 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 what can wash away my sin what can make me whole again oh nothing oh nothing but his blood there's power 